So guys, I wasn't really planning on making this video, but I'm going to talk about why being a Manchester United fan is sort of depressing and it is affecting my life. So make sure you guys smash that button, comment, and subscribe. You guys already know. And yeah, let's get into it. So when it comes to football, this is all I consume. Eat, sleep, breathe. Every every time I'm just thinking about football, 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 football. football. Oh, what's this team doing? I'm watching this game, that game. I'm playing in real life. I'm playing FIFA. It's it it never it's 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 constant. And when I look at it and when I backpedal and when I look look at my life like outside of football, it's like there's really not much to my life at all. Like my life feels meaningless outside of football. Outside of the sport. Because when I look at it, I really don't have any hobbies outside of playing footy at all. Even even when I play video games, it's, like, it's the same thing. I'm playing FIFA or or 2K or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. There is really no rest. There really is no break. And when it comes to Manchester United, it's like it's just all compounded into one. My mood is based off of them winning or losing because I want what's best for the team. And you got all this stuff going on. It's just thing after thing after thing. Injury, 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 thing, thing, thing. And it's not my fault. And I know there's nothing I can do about it, but it still irritates me because I want Manchester United to do well and I can't do anything about it physically. I can't do anything. I have no control over that. And, it, and, it's, and it's somewhat hard to accept that because it's like there's nothing I can do. It's not in my hands. And it's hard to distinguish that at times and it really does affect me in a way I, I, it, it's, it's really taxing mentally and physically it, it's very taxing like I said I mean when it comes to Manchester United it's just like the up and down mood the swing and uh, it's just what it is man you know there's some days I just wake up and I'm like you know if this doesn't work out and, you know, I'm not a professional footballer. I'm, I'm, I'm not even that good at football. Like I said, I'm, I'm whatever. Like, I'm an amateur footballer. I don't know where I go from here. I don't. And because football, like, it's, it's the prowess of what I'm doing. It's the main thing that consumes and drives my life. And that's the truth. Like, outside of football, there's really nothing really that fulfills me whatsoever at all. And that's the truth. Outside of Manchester United, um, watching football or other things, just footy in general, there's really nothing else that I thoroughly enjoy. I would say maybe, like, trains and stuff. But, you know, I mean, I don't even remember the last time. I think the last time I went to, like, train tracks or whatever was, like, in, what, March. But, I mean, that's really nothing, like, to that. But other than those two things, I would say there's really nothing that, um... It's fulfilling about my life. Like, my life, it, it's the same thing every day. Wake up, depressing nonsense, um, dealing with my mother, with her, you know, screaming in the background and stuff. And yes, I'm going to let this stuff out because it's it's the truth, man. It, it's, it's, it's stress. It, it's constant stress, and it's not good on me mentally and physically. It, it really isn't. And, and yeah. But it's just what it is, man. You know, it's the constant pressure of trying to succeed. It's the constant pressure of, oh, if I don't get this done by this time or that time, that's pretty much it. It's like I'm on a ticking time clock. I told you, it's like there's a window. Because when you hear about windows and stuff, you see... There's, there's too much going on. Like, you see the people... Oh, what's the example? Speed. ISO speed. Whatever. Who, who else? Uh, any of these Twitch streamers. It doesn't matter. They're successful. 20, 21, 22 millions of dollars. Um, Mason Green, what same thing. Successful. 20, 21, 22. It's the same age as me. Millions of dollars. But it's, it's hard to distinguish that because I don't know what they've been through to get to that stage but i see that and all i see is the fame the women the cars um whatever else and it's just like yes i want that now and i'm not getting that and it's like it feels like i'm behind if people understand what i'm saying it feels like i'm behind in what i'm doing and yes it's um it's mentally and physically taxing and then you add on the things manchester united aren't winning 
I'm injured because yeah, yeah, I got some injury like two months ago, like in my knee or whatever, and it's, I'm still healing from that, and that that's irritating, and it's been dragging on and on and on, and yeah, I haven't really been able to play at all. I'm gaining weight. I'm I'm just I'm I'm. I'm just like stuck, man. I, I don't even know why I'm making this video. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but it's just it, it's just all these things combined into one. It's just L after L after L, and, and it gets depressing, and it gets irritating after a while. So, yeah, I mean, with Manchester United, it's just, it just, man, and that just adds on to it. It's going to be the same thing, man. You know, the transfer window's going to close. Nothing's going to happen. They're still going to put McGuire in. They're still going to do what they're going to do. And nothing's going to change. And and it feels like, it, well, not not that it's my fault, but it feels like it's like, damn, I can, I can do nothing about it at all. And it, and it sucks, man, because it's not in my control. And it's hard to distinguish that from me. It, it really, really is. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, dealing with the stuff with my mom with whatever she's got the skits or whatever I you know I, I don't even know why I'm coming out with this but it's just like I'm holding this stuff in but I feel like I'm gonna be better if I let this stuff out because I'm holding all this stuff in mentally and it's taxing it is it's, it's eating me away inside so yeah um I mean with with the stuff with man United I mean it's just it's just the cherry on the top, man. All these injuries, all this stuff. It's just the same thing every season for the past 10 years. Over and over and over again. It's just what it is. So, yeah, this is why it's depressing being a Man United fan. I don't I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, bro. I probably will, but we'll see. Smash the like button, comment, subscribe. Click on my stuff up here. Not my usual video, not the stuff I usually make, but... You know, I just want to talk about the stuff that's, that bothers me, I guess. I don't know. Seems like that you guys. I'm out. Peace.